Have you guys ever wanted to take a realistic looking model and make it look stylized and painterly, like it's a prop in a Ghibli film? Well, I'm going to show you a method which, unlike most others, does not require geometry nodes or a complex shader node setup or anything like that. All that is needed is a set of textures, a free program, and a few button presses. So let's get right into it. Alright, that free program in question is none other than the wonderful image editor GIMP, which you can find here on this website, install it and run it. What we're going to be trying to recreate are these wonderful painterly style elements which we can see especially featuring in the backgrounds of many Hayao Miyazaki directed Ghibli films, and we can make our assets look something like that. Now as you can see here, we have these cool realistic looking bark textures. I got these off of the website Ambient CG. I would highly recommend that for free PBR textures. But you can see that the textures here stand out quite a bit from the stylized grass in the environment, so how can we fix it? Now of course we can make our own procedural material instead to completely replace it, but that is not the method this video is going to focus on, it's a little bit more involved. Why do that when so much hard work has already been done here by this PBR texture already? So drop your base color, roughness and albedo image textures into GIMP all in the same file. You can use the little eye icon to hide and unhide the layers. Now, play with these artistic filters in the filters menu to get some cool results. Oilify is certainly pretty cool, but the main one that I use is water pixel. The super pixel size parameter changes how fine the detail is, gradient smoothness changes how strong the borders of the brush strokes are, and spatial regularization probably shouldn't be touched, it changes the uniformity of the brush strokes, but we want it to be pretty nice and sporadic. I usually just use a super pixel size of about 20. And instead of redoing our settings for every image, we can just reapply this filter to the other two textures with this button, and boom, we're done. Before we wrap up with the final steps, I would greatly appreciate it if you could check out my Ko-Fi. I've got a lot of blend files up there from my most popular projects with packed textures and all, and these are largely free for members, even for the membership tier of only a couple USD a month. Shameless plug out of the way. Now, using the Node Wrangler add-on, which is built into Blender, we can use Ctrl Shift T and apply all three of these textures to our model. We can repeat this process with any set of PBR textures, tuck them into our anime style scene, put on some outlines and some anime style lighting, and it looks pretty cool. Works in both Eevee and Cycles as well. Though I am using Cycles for this demo, which is the first time that I've done it for something so stylized. The scene is obviously far from that pretty, it's just for showcasing, but you can certainly make something much better integrated. And it does look pretty cool having the tree trunk sitting here like that in the background element and the depth of field softens it even more. It is a workflow I'm considering applying for creating some game assets for an upcoming game project that I might be working on. Anyways guys, that about wraps it up. Here are some other videos which you may enjoy, which I also created focused on the anime slash stylization sort of niche. And I really hope that you found this one helpful. I will see you in the next one. Thanks to my ever loyal soul, Ko-Fi supporter, Smittering, and Matane.